Nerd morning, everyone. My name is Jeremy, and today on the Nerd Morning Show, I want to be talking to you guys about an interesting concept that is the artist versus the craftsman. And this is really interesting. I think that there is a lot of value here to be teased out and explored, and I'm going to explain the concept uh, quickly uh, using the analogy of an individual building a chair. So a craftsman who would go and build a chair is going to be making sure that it is going to function very, very well. It's going to have all four of the legs sitting comfortably on the ground. The chair's not going to wobble. The chair is going to feel comfortable when you sit in it. The armrests are going to be even, things like that. This chair is going to have all of the necessary functions in order to be able to work and to be used, which is to be sat in. And that is what a craftsman is going to do. Now, if a craftsman were to start to chisel away into the wood, make it so it had swirls going down the legs and different like accent designs cut into the wood on the back, none of these things actually help the function of the chair. There is no purpose in its function to do those things. That's when we start to bridge from a craftsman to an artist. And what that's doing is we're giving it something that is aesthetically pleasing and is beautiful and does something beyond actual function. And so what we see here is a possible definition for what art is. And this is something that has been teased with and explored, and there are multiple different definitions of what art is. And I like this one. I'm not going to say that it's like the best one or a perfect one, but certainly for this conversation, it fits. And what art is, is something that is done and created to be appreciated, to be enjoyed, to think about, but honestly has no practical function. And the designs inside of this chair do not have any practical function. Now, if we go to the other side and we say an artist starts to build a chair, they're going to make sure that it has curves and swooping swirls and beautiful like cutout designs. And they're going to make sure that this chair is very, very cool to look at. It's an interesting, beautiful piece but it might be wobbly when it sits on four legs. It might be uh, bent in a way so it's not comfortable to sit in. It has all of these beautiful aspects of it, but it either gets in the way of or it has no real use inside of its function and it actually doesn't really operate as a chair. It's more an art piece than as something that has functional use. And this is the difference between what an artist creates and does and what a craftsman creates and does. But this is like two sides of the same coin here. And when those things are together and we have somebody who is a craftsman and an artist, then what we get is a product that is going to be both functionally sound as well as aesthetically pleasing. It's going to be a chair that is comfortable to sit in, that uh, works all the ways that it's supposed to work for a chair, and it's going to be appealing and something that is beautiful to behold. And then you have like the ultimate combination of these two aspects of creation. And I just really find this idea fascinating. I think that there is tremendous value in both craftsmanship as well as artistry. And some of the most amazing things that have been created throughout human history have both fantastic craftsmanship as well as artistry. It's amazing what humans are able to do. Anyways, that's an idea I thought I would explore with you guys. Let me know what some of your thoughts are on this subject. Put those in the comments below. I would love to hear your ideas. Also, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. That would really help me out. And also, you can find me on various platforms like here on YouTube, also on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Twitch at Nerd Morning. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll catch you guys next time.